Cup. A segment we're going to have weekly on HWA on Heartland Wrestling is called Hanging Out With. And Jimmy, this week we're hanging out with two of the biggest prospects in WWF and two of the biggest guys in HWA, uh, ECMO and Kimo, the Island Boys. Well, the Island Boys are a tremendous tag team, not only in terms of size and strength, but also in terms of bloodlines. Because after all, this, as you know, uh, Kimo is the son of Sika, one of the wild Samoans, and ECMO is the brother of current WWF superstar Rikishi. So the Island Boys definitely have the bloodlines, the background, and the talent to make it to the top. Absolutely. I had a chance to talk to him earlier. This is what went on. Let's take a look. Hello, this is Les Thatcher, and this segment's called Hanging Out With. Today, it's the Island Boys. On this side of me, Kimo, and on this side, OG Ekmo. They're probably the two biggest guys in the HWA, but probably their backgrounds go further back in professional wrestling also than anyone else in the HWA. Uh, this young gentleman, uh, the smaller of these two guys, the little one, at 360 pounds, OG Ekmo is the younger brother of Rakishi Fatu. And this one at 425 and a little change, Kimo is the son of Sika, of Afa and Sika, the wild Samoans. And uh, besides eating, big man, what's one of your favorite pastimes? Eating. That's how I get my work done, Les. <laughs> you need to join the Island Boys often, man. Me and Kimo, we were at buffets up 24 hours, you know. But hey, that's what the Island Boys do best. But when we get in the ring, it's a different story. You see what I mean? I see what you mean. Well, ripping the phase up is one thing, but you've been ripping a lot of independent wrestling up over the last couple of years as the Island Boys as well, haven't you? Um, yeah, actually, we've been doing pretty good at it. Uh, since 95, we've been staying pretty active in the independent circuit, wrestling a lot overseas, um, pretty much taking care of business all over the world, um, Puerto Rico, Japan, um, all through the Northeast, Southeast independent circuit, Germany. Um, and doing pretty good at it. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, I know your dad started this, but exactly at what age did dad start teaching the, the ropes of professional wrestling? Actually, I got my first slam when I was five years old after I brought four Fs home on my report card. <laughs> and then it kind of got a, a single day training session every six weeks after that. But um, it didn't really get stuck into my brain until about 95, me and ECMO started getting trained by Rikishi, uh, my dad. Yokozuna had a big hand in, in uh, training us. and. Also, we also went up to the Wild Samoan Training Center up in Pennsylvania a few times and uh, trained with our, our uncle up there. All right, and of course, your brother has already made a big footprint in the WWF, Rikishi, and of course, uh, big shoes to fill. Big, big shoes. <laughs> but I believe the Island Boys can fill it, if you know what I mean. I know what you mean. This guy doesn't talk a lot, uh, but he sure all has right, a lot. Okay. You're all action? Yeah. Good. Well, you know, the one thing I do want to talk about something going on in the HWA, the invasion, the alliance, WCW. Uh, Shane O'Mac has sent uh, several of WCW guys down here to cut it off at grassroots. How do you feel about it? Uh, well, to tell you the truth, our grassroots was raised up in the WWF. We were running around those locker rooms since I was five years old and ECMO was four. So um, there was, at first, a lot to talk about with uh, me, ECMO, and uh, Steve Bradley, but as far as we're concerned, we were WWF. HWA the whole way through. We've been around WWF our whole lives, and the Samoans have always been loyal to WWF. So, uh, it, deep in our mind, there was no, there was really no decision to be made. HWA all the way, especially with WWF backing it. So, no matter the to school in the dressing room, if we had to, right? All we needed was some teachers back there, you know. So, what do you think? I think that we're happy to have you with the HWA, and certainly two big factors that backs up the invasion on the HWA side. And there you have it, OG ECMO and Kimo, the Island Boys, and that's it for hanging out with the Island Boys today on HWA. We'll be back right after this with more action-packed wrestling.